to the Avalon in Hollywood, California. I'm Elijah Wood, and MTV is here to bring you an exclusive look at the new Xbox, a console that's about to change digital entertainment forever. Tonight, we will learn tricks from pro gamers as they take a look inside the studios of Rare in London. Then we're going four-on-four -four showdown style with some of your favorite celebs and gamers in the ultimate celebrity death match. Also tonight, Sway will take us to the Xbox Design Lab in Seattle and visit with the Pimp My Ride guys to get their take on the Xbox. But tonight, the next Xbox isn't the only thing that looks cool, as we have a special performance from the killers like you've never seen before. First, let's kick it down to MTV2's Jim Shearer for a look at the phenomenon that is the digital revolution. Thank you, Elijah. Big moment in the industry that will literally change the face of entertainment. But before we take a step into the future, we have to see how gaming got to this level. Take a look. Fact, gaming isn't just a hobby, it is a lifestyle. And it started with one word, Pong. 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 And then two more, Atari 2600. By 1980, gaming had become a global phenomenon as Space Invaders and Pac-Man hit arcades all over the planet. When Donkey Kong and Super Mario Brothers hit, home entertainment would never be the same. By 1998, gaming was a full-on $5.5 billion business. With the new millennium came the next level of gaming as Xbox was introduced and changed the world of video games in 2001. Fast forward to today, where nearly half the globe is playing video games and all over the world, people are plugging into gaming online. Now we are about to hit another quantum leap in the gaming timeline as the new Xbox becomes a reality. You guys know how big gaming is, and now the time has come. You've waited long enough. I give you the future of gaming. of first, the first time you've seen Xbox 360, and the first time you'll see the Killers perform like this. Ladies and gentlemen, the Killers. <laughs>
looking forward to this Xbox 360? Yeah, I'm looking forward to getting a free one tonight. So Xbox. <laughs> All right, coming up, get an exclusive look at a bunch of new titles coming out for Xbox 360. Keep it here. <laughs> Tony Hawk, who has a brand new video game coming out on the Xbox 360. Yeah, we got American Wasteland. Basically, it's one giant level. It's, it's LA. There's no load time, you know. And we're finally on Xbox Live. And speaking of Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, a new title on the Xbox 360, here are some other titles to check out. my people to do Xbox 360, the holy grail of gaming, and it's all about customization, and there's nobody that knows more about that than these two guys from the Pimp My Ride team, my man Mike and my man Ryan. How you guys doing? What's going on, Sway? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm excited right now, man. How about you? Absolutely, dog. When we found out they were coming out with the new Xbox, we definitely had to give it the West Coast touch. Okay. Yeah, we wanted to show Microsoft what we could do to the Xbox, dog, and all the next cars. They definitely gonna have that Xbox 360 in it. You know what I'm saying? I know what you're saying, Mike. We're gonna take a look at exactly what it is that you guys did to pimp out the original Xbox. Yo, this is Ryan from West Coast Custom. You know how we do it on Pimp My Ride. Usually, my man X is the one taking center stage. Today, a different X marks the spot. Gentlemen. Today we have a very special assignment. In the past, we've used the box. New Xboxes. But now it's time to pimp the box. So Matt Mike, what do you got? Let's make it sinister, but industrial style. The first thing we had to do was to take the Xbox all apart. We had the guy sand it down and get it ready for Buck to paint. Then Buck airbrushed the skull and crossbones right on the top. Then after that, Sean took and cut metal pieces, welded it, and mounted a monitor, put the LEDs in the skull, and made it work. All right, Matt Mike, show me what you got, dog. Gentlemen. Check this out, Shady. We got a 15-inch flip-up monitor. We got the LEDs, we got the skull and the crossbones. And check out that bling. This is the way the Xbox should look. <laughs> You've been pimped. What you guys got? A little less metal, bling, yes, uh, and then maybe a ring as well. Yeah, a ring, that's a good idea. I think we can do something with that. Oh, 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 this is the lab of Xbox 360. These are the masterminds, Matt Day and Jonathan Hayes. Okay, fellas, you guys started from this design, the Xbox One, and had to get it to the Xbox 360 final design. Tell me, how did you do that? Break down the process, the evolution of the design. So we took this gesture, which is really this inhale, this double concavity, then something really important happened. Getting rid of the hassle of cords. No more game ports. We're going wireless. So that brings us to final design. This is the ladies and gentlemen. And this ring of light idea. What's going on, man? It's going good. All right, okay, so, you know, when you're a gamer, you always have problems, maybe your girlfriend or your mom, you know, they don't want this thing hanging around the living room, but this right here looks real slick. Was that your intent? That was the, in the intent was really to make it fit anywhere. So what we did was we trimmed off the front, okay. and you can replace the front, put on any face you want. You can put on any face you want. Any face you A want. face plate. So this is the final version right here. There's a lot more to it than just what you're seeing here. It's all of the circuitry that goes on inside. Yeah. Unbelievably. You know, on the outside, it's sexy. On the inside, it's a monster. All right, Jay. So the key word here is customization. All right? So show me what you got. Tell me, what is this all about? The live marketplace. What is that? In the real world, the Internet's given us things like eBay and Amazon where you can go buy real stuff. The live marketplace is that same concept, but for virtual stuff. So you want to go style your character with Mark Echo t-shirt? 
boom, live marketplace. Go and style your character. All right, what about downloads, Jay? I mean, talk to me about that. We also got game downloads. Okay. So if you want to go download some new content for Halo or Perfect Dark, you can do that here. Mm -hmm. So it's just a full, you know, entertainment experience right now. It's not just a, a video game any longer. I'm glad I came. I think you guys are on to something really good. I appreciate it, man. All right. All right, cool. Xbox 360. Feel the experience. Coming up, Uber Gamers Amy Brady, Dee Palmer, and Matt Lido for a global first, a sneak peek inside the UK's renowned Rare Studios. To get more info on Xbox 360, hit MTV.com and MTV Overdrive. You're gearing up for the first Xbox 360 Live Perfect Dark Zero Deathmatch. Keep it here. I've got Ryan here. We're gonna talk about games. Let's do it. And you were saying. I'm in. <laughs> Are I'm in. you in? I'm in. Who, I'm in. I'm who actually? Who actually is in? Everybody here is in. That's obviously. right. gamers Matt, Amy, Amber, and Dee, and you guys got the inside scoop on Perfect Dark Zero when you were over in England. It was a dream come true. It was uh, the most fun I've had in a long time. Let us take a look into this previously unseen world. Hi, I'm Dee. I'm with my friends from the US. We're here at Rare Studios. Here in England, going to check out this Perfect Dark Zero. No one's got their hands on it yet. Rare. Xbox, MTV, that's what you wanted. Let's get this on. My name is Amy Brady. I lead a clan of 170 girls, guys that can't handle being beat by girls. When they tell me to get back in the kitchen, I tell them I'm already in the kitchen. I'm just kicking their ass with one hand. My name's Matt Lito. My handle is Zios, and I play games for a living. The first tournament that I won, the score was 14 to 14, and the first person to 15 won, and I happened to get that last kill, and that was a $20,000 kill. So that's when I decided to, you know what, I'm gonna focus on this full time. And the following year, I made 80 grand playing games. You know my name now, it's D, AKA D Mega. I'm a man, anybody wanna race me, you get beaten, you, get, you wanna fight me in the shooting game, you get shot, it's that simple. But you know what, right now I'm sick of talking. Let's get trained, check out this motion capture studio, see how they get us in the game, punching, kicking, ducking, bobbing, weaving, go and do this motion capture for ourselves, I think. Hello, I'm Mr. Lellis, and I do the motion capture for Joanna Dark. here again they're gonna put all these balls on me and give me a little motion capture to see how it comes out in the game yeah well that's it I just done my thing those guys did their thing I'm in the game so I'm out of This is an honor for me. I get a chance to go across the world, you know, get to play the Xbox 2 with Perfect Dark Zero. I'm gonna learn the ins and outs. I'll take that information back with me. I'm gonna show the celebs how to do it. I'm just gonna absorb everything while I'm here. You guys wanted to ask you some questions about Perfect Dark Zero. That's yeah, fine. Fine. How many polygons are in a character? Uh, about 5,000. How many polygons are in the background? About, about 100,000 to 300,000. How many players can join in a multiplayer match? You're going to be able to play with 50 players or more. How many characters can be on screen at once? As many there, as there is in the match. Tell me about the game physics. Well, the player can interact with all the objects in the game. Are there destructible objects? Yes. Fully destructible? Fully destructible. Tell me about the graphics. Okay, we're using one. Tell me about the lighting. How many polygons? How many players? How many characters? Tell me about the game physics. Is the game cool? Of course it is. <laughs> We're about to begin our training by meeting the mastermind behind Perfect Dark Zero, Duncan Botwood. Ready for your training? So now we're here with the gurus. What have you got for us? We're going to push you straight in and see if you can swim. Wow. That's how you first Oh, did I just... Oh! Score 
Belichick. Who's in the lead? Uh, my first impression of this game's awesome. It has elements I've never seen in any FPS. Game. I stole your weapon. Oh, you bitch. I stole your other weapon. Here. Yes. I'm just gonna punch you out. Come here. Oh, I'm having a little blast playing this right now. Maybe one that one. But I think there'll be a rematch. Representing the female gamers. I've got my little tricks here. I've got my little tactics. Let them play off against each other a little bit. When they think they're ready, they can step to me. I'm here. It's nothing. If it comes down to the finals between Amy's team and my team, I'm going to ask my team to keep the score close. She doesn't feel too bad. But there's no doubt in my mind we're going to win. Bring it on, bitch. Now me and my friends from the US, Amy. Hola. Matt. Don't touch me, I'm still playing. Okay. We've learned this game, we've got our training, we're coming back to the LA. We'll see you soon. All right, it's time to apply what you've learned. This is where it's going down. The first ever four-on-four -four live competition of Perfect Dark Zero. Team one. Team two. Let the games begin. Your sister Amber is hunting you, she says. Oh, was that the bitch I just killed? Hold oh, down, hold oh, down. D and Matt going at it, and you haven't been able to hit the death blow yet. No, not yet. He keeps running. Look at him. You know how we do tactics, tactics. Mario, I'm gonna challenge you to a dance off. Oh my god, what? <laughs> the referee has just signaled the two minute warning. When the clock sounds, we will know the winner. I don't know. Too close to call right now. Three, two, one. That is it. My team won. The winners of the first ever Perfect Dark Zero four-on-four -four battle, team one. I have my girl here protecting me. That's what a team is about. Fine. Omarion is the better dancer. Fine. Is that what you want me to say? Must win. Team one. Matt, they are bragging over here that they defeated one of the top gamers in the world. How do you respond to that? They only won by one point. We're the better team. But in the end, they still won. Right, they won that game, but it's not over yet. Which would make them the better team. No, no. I think we can all agree on one thing tonight. Xbox 360 is going to be amazing. And I look forward to meeting with all of you in the Xbox 360 universe. I'm Elijah Wood, thanks for coming. We leave you with the killers.